Jupiter is the largest planet within the solar system, and over 1,300 Earths could fit inside this gas giant. Jupiter is also the biggest gas giant ever discovered. It is also two and a half times as massive as all of the other planets in the solar system combined. Using the Subaru Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, a group of astronomers has only recently found evidence of a planet that is significantly larger than previously thought. In this video, we will be talking about the discovery of the largest planet in the universe. A Jupiter-like protoplanet has been discovered in orbit around the young star AB Aurigae. The star is likely still in the process of creating, and cannot be older than 5 million years. To put this in perspective, the age of our Sun is 4.6 billion years. The distance between the young star and Earth is around 531 light years, and it may be found in the constellation Auriga. This disk of gas and dust, which envelops the star and moves swiftly, provides the fuel necessary for the star to continue its rapid expansion. After some time has passed, the remnants of the disk will eventually come together to create the components of the solar system. You name it, there's probably a planet, dwarf planet, comet or asteroid out there somewhere. But getting back to the recently discovered planet, it's a gas giant with a mass that's equivalent to nine Jupiters. The distance of 93.9 astronomical units between the planet AB Aurigae B and its parent star is probably why it takes almost 588 Earth years for it to complete just one trip around its parent star. Now, the reason why the finding of this planet is so astonishing is because, according to scientists, it has been formed in a pretty unusual way. Or perhaps I should say that it is forming in a very bizarre way, given that the gas giant remains in the process of being formed. In any case, the peculiar thing is that AB Aurigae B is coming together as the result of a top-down gravitational collapse of massive clouds of gas. This is an extremely rare occurrence. A scientific model of planet formation in which dust and rocks slowly gather around a specific core is a much more common scenario. This proves that there are many different pathways by which planets can come into existence. It might also suggest that there are possibly highly diverse planetary systems within our own galaxy, the Milky Way, and that AB Aurigae B is not the largest exoplanet that has ever been found. 2005 was the year when astronomers first saw the mysterious space body that would subsequently be given the name GQ Lupi B. The object was located in orbit around a young star at a range around two and a half times bigger than the one that separates the Sun and Pluto. The researchers arrived at the verdict that the object in question could either be a planet or a brown dwarf, which may be thought of as a little star. If astronomers come to the conclusion that GQ Lupi B is indeed a planet, it will have a radius three and a half times greater than Jupiter, making it the largest planet ever discovered. UY Scuti is the name of the most prominent star that we are aware of. The radius of this hypergiant is approximately 1,700 times bigger than our Sun. If you were to somehow maneuver UY Scuti into the center of our solar system, its rim would extend well beyond the orbit of Jupiter. Regarding the debris and gas emitted by the star, all of this would stretch further than the orbit of Pluto, which is equivalent to a distance 400 times that of the Sun to Earth. A region in space known as a black hole is so dense that not even light can escape its intense gravitational attraction. This raises the question of why the pull of gravity is just so powerful in these regions. Because of the extremely cramped conditions in which the substance exists. The centers of galaxies are typically home to supermassive black holes, which can have masses millions or even billions times that of our Sun. The 618 black hole is the most massive one astronomers have found, equivalent to 66 billion suns. 
In 2010, astronomers using the Fermi telescope saw something enormous, something approaching the Milky Way. Their finding appeared to be giant blobs of matter only seen in certain wavelengths of light. In addition, these blobs of matter stood approximately 25,000 light years tall. These Fermi bubbles are thought to have been created by the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, by some researchers. The comet that broke the record for the largest nucleus ever discovered in a comet arrived in our solar system in 2021. It had a diameter of 85 miles, and its frozen nucleus was 50 times larger than the previous record holder. Its mass was an astounding 100,000 times more than that of a typical comet. Scientists at first thought it should be considered a minor planet. Will this monster come into contact with Earth? No, it won't come any closer than a billion miles to our lovely blue planet, and if it does, it won't happen until the year 2031. There might, however, be other, larger comets that we haven't detected yet. The cosmos contains a great deal of strange things, and one of them is the concept of hypothetical nuclear pasta. If this did exist, nuclear spaghetti would be the most powerful material in the entire cosmos. It originates from the debris left behind by stars that have since burned out as a result of this substance being compressed into tangles of material resembling spaghetti. It is possible to break it, but only if users apply a pressure 10 billion times more than that which is required to break steel. Pulsars are spherical space objects the size of a huge city, yet they pack more mass in than the entire sun, and they radiate two narrow beams of light, sending them in different directions. They are believed to have originated in the early universe. The Black Widow Pulsar feels exactly the same as if the spider that gives it its name were consuming its mate. It is a brown dwarf star, not very massive, but the more material the pulsar eats, the more slowly it rotates. Its companion star will gradually fade away as a result of the energy that it will lose during the process. Haumea is a Kuiper Belt dwarf planet that makes its orbit in that region. It is a ring of objects in the shape of a donut that goes all the way around the Sun and continues just past the orbit of Neptune. The dwarf planet is elongated in a peculiar way and has two moons around it. This planet has the shortest day of any major object in the planetary system, at only four hours, making it the object that spins the fastest overall. The fact that Haumea is surrounded by a tiny ring only 40 miles wide is maybe the most perplexing feature about the planetoid. What exactly is it, and where did it come from? Nobody knows for sure. Fomalhaut, the 18th brightest star in the night sky, is a scary sight. It has been given the moniker the Eye of Sadness due to the fact that it appears to have a ring of dust and debris around it. It creates the illusion that the star is a huge eye gazing into your own being. It has twice the mass of our Sun and is located 25 light years from Earth, not exactly a far distance in the grand scheme of things. The Butterfly Nebula spreads its wings greater than three light years across, and the structure found within this nebula is among the most complex that has ever been studied. If the central star of the nebula is a white dwarf heated to an amazing 450,000 degrees Fahrenheit, this would indicate that it was created from another enormous star, more than five times the size of our Sun. Because the white dwarf is encircled at its equator by a dense disk of dust and gas, the overall structure most likely resembles either an hourglass or a butterfly. What do you think of these amazing structures and objects in outer space? Please tell us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date on all the activity on the channel. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.